Hey guys, welcome back to Kelly's Creations. I hope you guys are having a blessed and wonderful week and I'm so excited for this video. Y'all are always asking me for minis, so I came up with an idea. I had this vintage birdcage that I had purchased a few months back at a thrift store. And I absolutely love the color, the distressing everything, but I wanted a unique and different way of decorating it. So I'm throwing everything but the kitchen sink in here because I'm not quite sure <laughs> what I'm going to be using. So right now I'm just playing around with different ideas, different staging of how I want the birdcage to look. So I grabbed the pieces I was going to use, which are dollhouse furniture from Dollar Tree and an easel and painted them white. Then I came back in and went over them with a stencil brush from Dollar Tree with a moss chalk paint because I knew the color palette that I wanted was the green and some pink and white. So I just kind of went over the edges. I left the front um, white because I am going to be using scrapbook paper to really make that dresser come alive and look vintage. I even added a little green to the, um, I can't remember. <laughs> I went in my wallpaper book and grabbed the pattern that I wanted and I grabbed one of my little mini canvases that I had showed how to do an acrylic pour on and we're going to reuse this. So just using some glue stick, I cut out a square out of my wallpaper book and I'm going to put um, it on this mini canvas and this is going to be like a mini picture for my room. And I'm just kind of wrapping it like a present, just going over each side in the middle with the glue stick until it's all covered and wrapped and you have mini art now. So cute. So then in my wallpaper book, I grabbed a pattern that would kind of coincide with that picture. And I am just going to use my glue stick and put a pattern on each drawer. This is a dollhouse um, dresser from Dollar Tree, which I absolutely love using their dollhouse furniture. So I just had to kind of be creative and kind of little eyeball it a little until I had the right shape. Then you can just press where the knobs are and poke those knobs right through. And then you can use your glue stick. And I did this on each drawer. So there's four drawers with two knobs, one drawer with three knobs. The top one was a little tricky. That middle knob didn't want to poke through, but yeah, I got it. Once I had that glued down, I took a little bit of sandpaper to it and kind of roughed up the edges just to make it look a little distressed and older. stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it once i had it all distressed look how cute that looks oh my goodness i absolutely love it and that's an easel by the way i can't remember earlier and the picture is just going to set right on that little easel you can get those from walmart they're 99 cents and there's my little chair that's also dollhouse furniture so i had some dollar tree glass jars and I had a big old container just full of different tablescapes and items people have given me from work, uh, beads. I kind of just throw them all in this container. Um, my boss had a party and she gave me all her tablescape after she was done. So I learned the hard way. Don't throw them all in the same container. Because it took me forever. Maybe not two days, <laughs> but it took me forever ever to find the right sizes to put in these and that's how i felt <laughs> so i did get them all in the little jars then i grabbed some floral and we're just gonna rip off the bottom leaves because you want kind of a long stem 
to put in the jar and then the tablescape little beads are gonna hold that stem in place. And we're gonna make some potted plants for our little mini room. It really makes me wonder Oh, I wonder So now it's time to make some curtains. I had some green and white string from Dollar Tree and I had um, some, I guess it's like a, do almost like a doily fabric that I had bought a whole bunch of these. They were like all in a box at a thrift store. I think I got the whole box for a couple of bucks. So I was really excited about that. So I'm gonna cut this one up because I love the um, shape that's in the middle of this. So the one edge I cut off because I knew I wanted to make like a throw blanket. And then I just start cutting it down to a triangle or square shape, not triangle, <laughs> a square shape. I just want the center piece because that's gonna be the rug. And now I have some really cool scraps for other projects. So that little guy is gonna be our rug. And it fits perfect. So I went and grabbed my lace ribbon and that's gonna be our curtains. And I kind of folded it over. I forgot to tell you, I forgot to mention, I am not hot gluing any of this down to the birdcage. That way when I want to change it up, I can and the birdcage was not ruined and it, I don't have to scrape hot glue off of it. I do hot glue some items to like the dollhouse furniture itself but not to the birdcage. That way it's easily changed. So I cut strips of the lace and I wrap it over the top of the birdcage. Then I come in with my string and kind of just go around two of the prongs and just tie them in a double knot to make the curtains. You can put as many curtains as you want in here. I love when you tie it, it kind of makes it look like individual panels and it mimics like individual windows so i thought that was a neat effect and i think i ended up adding five curtains to this just going around the one corner it makes me wonder yeah it makes me wonder it really makes me wonder what wonder This is so much fun and I see bird cages at Goodwill and thrift stores all the time and I don't own a dollhouse. I wish I had a dollhouse because I would love to decorate one, but I think this is just a cool idea, especially for those of us who don't own a dollhouse but would love to like decorate a room in a dollhouse. Grab a bird cage next time you see it and decorate it because look at this. This is starting to look so stinking cute. There is a close up of all of my little curtains that I made. And you can get more fancy with this if you wanna put some beads on there or tie them in bows. Um, you're really not gonna see the ties once the furniture's in there, so I don't wanna go in too much depth of tying them. And now we're gonna add that carpet and we're gonna add the 
furniture. Oh my gosh, it's already starting to look so stinking cute. There's our art on the easel. Put that in the corner. Look at this. <laughs> It's already to me like you want to just grab a blanket and just cozy on up in that room. I love it. I think this is so much fun. I always ask you guys, you always saying do minis, do minis, do minis, but how do you decorate with it? And I'm like, this is finally a way to decorate with those minis. So I added the chair in the corner. And because my doily has this open holes in it, I was trying to get the feet to go into the holes. Um, like I said, I'm not hot gluing anything to the birdcage. So now I took my floral, my potted plants, and I stacked them in, a, in the corner by height. And the scraps that I had cut off of the doily, um, I cut one of the little flower petals off and I'm just going to use that as a little bitty doily. Then I come in with a jar and some keys that I had and the corks to the bottles um, that I did the plants. They all had corks in them. So I threw all of the corks in one of the bigger bottles and I put that on top of the dresser as well. Has a heart as pure, no, not like yours. I love decorating with keys, um, especially with the minis, and I just think they look vintage, and I think they're cute. So I did hot glue a couple of keys to the top of there. And here's a look at how our little mini bird cage room is turning out. I think it's looking so cute. I love the curtains. I love putting the furniture in there, and that easel adds that pop of color. So do the purple flowers. It is coming along nicely. The strip that I cut earlier, um, I cut it down a little bit more, and that's going to mimic like a throw blanket draped over the chair. In one of my previous mini videos, I made this little clock and I'm gonna hot glue that clock to the chair and this cute little pencil sharpener typewriter, which I found at my local thrift store. I gotta go back and get more. She has so many different kinds. Like I love the typewriter, but originally I was gonna put that on the floor and I'm not sure about that. So I'm gonna come back to that. But this lamp is in Dollar Tree in the dollhouse or the doll section and it comes in a plastic um, bundle so there's a whole bunch of plastic furniture that you get for a dollar and the lamp was one of them um, I used I think the dressers and stuff in another one so I had the lamp left over so I decided to use that there's my typewriter again I absolutely love it I do decide to put it on the floor um, and then I put the lamp next to the easel and now we're gonna make a chandelier. I found these at Goodwill. I think they're poles for like maybe a ceiling fan or a light, and there were four of them. So I'm gonna use one of them, and I am gonna use a votive from Dollar Tree. And this actually is going to light up our little room. Um, I just think that this is so stinking cute. <laughs> Here's a votive from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna wrap some fabric around it from the doily so that it matches the theme of the room. And I'm just gonna hot glue that around that votive. And then I have some string that is the same creamy color. And I'm going to attach the, I think it's a pole, like a lamp pole. I'm gonna attach that hanging from the votive to make a chandelier that actually lights up.
So to attach the decorative pole, all I did was I put the string, tied it in a knot at the top of the pole, and fed it through the side of the doily until I got to the top. And the string kind of matches the doily. You don't really see it that much. And then once you get to the top, you can put it in the center of your birdcage and tie it and attach it to your birdcage. I did have a problem with one side was drooping a little bit. And to fix that problem, all I did was attach some more string to where it was drooping and pulled it up and tied it to the birdcage. Look how cute that is. And the fact that you can actually light this room up is a bonus and I think that's adorable. Plus it's such a cute little chandelier hanging in the room. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile? Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on, I put my feet up, and we just sing along, and I can't help but feeling just loving. I absolutely am in love with this birdcage. I seriously, like, this, I came down with it and showed my husband, I'm like, I love this birdcage and I can't wait to make more of them or to even change this one out maybe for the holidays, do a little Christmas room in here. Yeah, I have a couple more bird cages too, so I could do one um, maybe for Halloween. I'm not sure, but I'm really in love with this. And the light aspect, the little light fixture is so cute because the top of it, you just turn it on and off and you have a little glowing light. Um, I filmed this during the day, so it was really hard to get that effect, but I do take it out in the hallway to show you what it looks like with the light on. And yeah, I really like this. I think it's warm and cozy. To me, it screams like springtime, staying within the farmhouse style. Plus, I love bird cages. I have a few of them around the house. And this is just a different way, instead of just having a potted plant or a flower, a different way to decorate that bird cage. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you love this bird cage? Um, what aspects of it do you like? And would you like to see more um, bird cage, I guess, decor items? Because <laughs> I would love to do a couple more of these videos. So I took it out in the hallway where it wasn't as bright to show you guys how it lights up. That is so cute. I love how it illuminates at the top and it kind of looks like a crystal chandelier hanging down and just gives it a warm, cozy tone to the inside of the birdcage. Don't mind my dirty floor. <laughs> I am out in the hallway. <laughs> and yeah, it is really cute.
Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out my video. If you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell for future notifications. And we had something different over the weekend. It did. It snowed in the south. <laughs> and we were shut down for a day but yeah i moved away from that white stuff but it was kind of pretty to see it again <laughs> i love y'all i hope you're having a blessed and wonderful week and i'll see you next sunday bye y'all